If you want to learn how to reorder items in Funflow, then you have come to the right video. In this video, we are going to start to see the first part of reordering items because we have multiple ways of making some uh, items reordable in Funflow. This video is going to be just for the first and easy part, and I will post other videos related to the, the reordering items, and they are all going to be linked in the description below. So don't forget to check them out. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. So as I told you in the intro, it's time for us to prepare some MUI. This is don't worry about this. This is just from the previous products we have made about uh, you know how to use arrays. If you are curious about this, you can check the the description below for that video. If you want to learn how to use arrays in uh, Flutterflow, either way. So now we want to first to prepare the design. So the type of reorder we are going to be doing today is about reordering a list of text or a list of uh, numbers. But we are going to go with the list of text. For that, let's actually have uh, a list. Let's just name it list of uh, strings. So it's a list of strings already. So just click on confirm. Now you have it. Let's actually prepare some UI. You can skip this part if you want. So here we have. Let's actually have uh, a uh, you know container first, and the container will have a text. So for the height of the container, let's make it dynamic based on the height and width of the text, or maybe for the width, let's go with an infinite, and for the height, let's go maybe for twenty. No, let's keep it uh, dynamic. Let's make the text a bit bigger than how it is now and add some padding like uh, 12 good and now what you want like let's say these are going to be the items we are going to have lists of uh, text so this is going to be what this is going to be the item so if you want to do something that is reorderable then you have to wrap it into a list instead of a column so let's actually uh, replace the column with a list. Now this can reorder your stuff, but because it has this option, as you can see here, it's reorderable, right? So for the list view, let's uh, take it to the top, just like that. Now let's actually go ahead and play and uh, add some thing here. So let's say, for example, uh, let's have a list of uh, tasks, for example. So now we have uh, four items, maybe five, I guess. Yes, we have here five items. And now it's time to show them here. So let's go to the list view. And here in the, in the generation data, children from variable. So let's say uh, tasks. They will come from the page statue that we have, for example. And here we don't want to see hello world, we want to see the name. So here is the dynamic children. Open it to take the name, you won't find it. So here is the name, you can click on it directly. It will show you the name. So now it's time for, so we have now prepared the UI. Let's have a look at the custom code that you are going to use in order to make this reordering possible. So let's actually go to Google and search for uh, Flutter Flow Docs uh, List View. So because the reordering is a part of the list view. So let's uh, yeah, go down and find where, yes, here it is, as you can see, a reorderable list. So, uh, so yes, I think that we need to copy a code. Yes, this is the code. This is going to work for a list, as you can see, it will work for a list. The other one works for Firebase, but we are now going to be using just Flutterflow directly. And we are going to go back to Firebase uh, anyway, so copy the code copy this code and come back here and say and go and add a new function no it's not function it's an action because the ordering is an action so the order items so you click here and so first click on save because it, uh, this cursor will be stuck here until you click on save you see, now it, it's stuck. If I wanted to do something, it would be written on the top. So, see, reorder uh, items and click on, sorry, yes, click on save. 
and click here so you can get out of this field that's a bug anyway and paste that so when you paste it you see that so to help you out and by the way if you want me to make a video about you know uh, custom code let me know in the comment section below so here are the parameters we have a list of strings and it can be a list of uh, numbers so we have here list and here we have the second sorry here is the first item uh, it's the first argument it is called list it's and here is the, the type of the argument it is a list of strings the second uh, ver argument or you know variable will be old index and here is the the nature of it so here is where we define the arguments let's first so make sure you have the same names here at the same type so it's a list of strings so here we have what we have old index here it is so it's an integer and it is not nullable so just check this off so now it's not a list so what if it was hiding that so here we have uh, three arguments click on save action click on yes and the return value has to be of course so you are, you are going to give it a list two variables two information and the return value will be a list a list of strings it will, you give it a list of strings and it, it returns a list of strings as you can see you give it a list and it, re, it, it returns a list and this action this type of action has a return value if we turn it off and we click it on save they will tell you hey you are missing something when you click on yes they will enable it for you and because this is how the code is so we are going to return a list and list is you know of course a list of strings so now we have installed it let's click here to compile it so click here and it will be compiled and it should show you whether you have an error or not so the the, the compilation has finished and we have no problem as you can see here so yes now we have done the custom code stuff let's go now and apply it so how to apply it first so uh, the question that that's the right question to ask the first thing you need to see the list here so check it from a dynamic children i think we have done this but i don't know why it was applied let's do it again yes cause and you click here to take it from a pay state so hello world will be the name good so we have done that i don't know what was the problem but anyway now how to reorder stuff so the first thing to do is to actually come down below and enable the reorderable function so you can reorder items so click here click here and now just delete that and then click on add select action trigger and here is on reorder so click here so when you click here you can only add one action which is that uh, you see reorder items it's the custom action so to so that action will, will ask you for some things so the uh, list you want to reorder so give it so what it, what is the list it is this page stage this is what you are we want that you, this is what you are looking for to reorder right so click here and so that is cool so where is the old index so click here uh, since your list is reorderable when you click here you take it you give it the old index you do the same for the new index and is that it no because the action has an output we have seen it when we were uh, installing the custom code so we have an output which is going to be the new list so we have given it the old list and it gave us as a result the new list so what do you think we can do with this new list so what do you think it's gonna, so what should we do with this new list so we want to save it in the place of the old list right because when you reorder you change the list you put like an item from one to two like you switch the, the places you will have a new list you know you want you will want to get rid of the old list and replace it with the, the new list this is why they have given you an output they will give you the new list the one that you have reordered the result of your re reordering so you have to save that in 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 order so, sorry sorry not in the order but in the place of the old list so how do we do that so the old list was a pay stage so we want to remove it and put the new one there so just search for page here 
here is it so let's just set the value to the new one so what is the new list what is the result of the action so you see here action output click on it and you see here is the new list so put it there so once you put there you will see the result here right and now let's actually go uh, go ahead and test it out but please some of you might not have understood this correctly but please it will take you a repetition and practice to, to understand it and we are going to make some maybe two or three videos after that after this one to make things more clear to you just follow along and repeat and apply this is your secret to understand it and to your learning so let's uh, click here and try it right so i will meet you on the test mode so here is going to be uh, the test mode so when you turn your list into an, a reorderable list you will see these handles just to show the people that these, you can re, they can reorder this so long press here and click here you see it was here and now it's here so here is the action that i am reordering right so what when i let go of the of the mouse or of the click so at that point when i let go the old list which was like which is this one so this is the old list right i will check meet you see here now it was updated after i let go this is what we have made here we first reorder and then we update right if we don't update you won't see the result let's actually disable that and try it so let's try not to update the the page stage uh after they ordered it i'm sure we are that we are going to have an ugly result but let's try it this is what we are doing here so let's wait for it yes now just to make sure here so the new list is empty because we haven't done any reordering the new list will be filled only once you have reordered so you click here you see like make the video is the last one so you know i can just keep playing with it and you see like we took the the hidden gym to the center but it does not show up here because we haven't updated the page state you see we have updated and nothing showed up but we already ordered it because the reason why we don't see it is because we have updated the page state you have to always update the source right so let's enable that so th that that is it let's enable it and by the way if you have an idea of a tutorial you want me to make on this channel then let me know in the comment section below because now i am back and i promise i won't be absent for so long because i have been absent for so long now that i missed you a lot i missed the channel i won't get absent anymore so let's click here you see now it works there are a lot of videos coming up but i need you to tell me which video you want me to make so this is it for this video but keep in mind this is just a first part this is not the end this is not how we do reordering because there are some very complex scenarios where you need to use different techniques and skills and you know tricks to make the reordering happen just like how you saw in this video and i really hope you've enjoyed this video and have you, that you have liked it so if you do so don't give it don't forget to give it a thumbs up i share it with your friends and family and if you are not subscribed to the channel yet do so please right now because you are going to get a lot of benefits and cool videos from it for completely free and also if you have a, a, a like a, a video that you want me to make in the future put it in the comment section below and i will do my best to make it for you as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching and i am so excited to see you on the next video which is the next part of reordering you can always check that in the description down below if it was not there subscribe and i will notify you once i have published that